Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm coming to you from in front of my Christmas tree in my pajamas, sure am. It is Thursday, you'll probably see this on Tuesday, but I wanted to do a DIY this weekend. Oh, I got some weird shadowing happening on me. Sorry, it's dark out as you can see. Hi Dubbers. And I got some stuff to do a DIY. He said, no, I don't want to. Oh, 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 sir. Really? Everybody wants to see you pretty. Okay, he's done. <laughs> he just ate. Pooh, you stink. Anyway, I got a Dollar Tree haul, and I'm going to do a DIY with this haul. So I'm super excited to show you. And then um, this weekend, I'm going to make this DIYs. Make this DIYs? <laughs> make these DIYs. There's multiple. Do you want to say hi now? You're just going to sit here and stare at me. Sorry, my ear. Okay, I have a couple of things. First off, <laughs> you're going to need something. This, I don't even know if they're in the stores right now. I mean, it's definitely something the Dollar Tree carries, but I have two of them and I've wired them together. And actually, this is off my front porch that I had plants in the summer, but I'm going to make this into a porch gnome for winter I know right so we're gonna use this and then when I find more of these I can make another planter but I wanted a tall one so we're gonna use that we I purchased two of these and we're going to I know look it it's gonna be a shiny gnome any buckets of work any vessel you could get the um tomato cages or if you have the tomato cages I didn't have any and I'm trying to do this on the cheap so one of them is going to be made out of these one is going to be made out of these and then I have a third one now I'm using a different Christmas tree but you could totally do it with one of these or two of these or ten of these I have is it behind me it is I have this old tree that I was going to toss away because I think the lights are dead and if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I gotta get it out of the box. It's Grinch green. I'm gonna make a Grinch gnome. I know, right? Out of this green tree, or I'm gonna try my darndest anyway. So I have one of these that I was gonna toss away. So I'm gonna repurpose and upcycle that. But if you don't have one, you could totally use just the Dollar Tree Christmas tree or the white one would be fun. So I got that. Oh, I got placards. Of course, you got, you know, oral hygiene is important. I keep these in my drawers at work. You get 60 of them in here because, you know, you eat your lunch and you need to take care of a little dental business. Okay, now I found one of these at my store. And the beauty of this, it fits perfectly on top of the basket and this is going to help form the hat the head so i'll take all this hangy bits off and i'm going to wire it here but i'll show you that when i do the diy but i was so excited because that's going to fit perfect if you don't have one don't worry i mean ugh. with any of my diys you can just wing it because that's what i'm going to do <laughs> i'm just going to wing it i bought what i thought i might need and we'll see where we go so I grabbed two of these. I thought this would be a good, especially on this big one, that would be a good size nose. Now my porch is covered, um, so it's not gonna get wet. And plus I'll probably throw this away at the end, but I'm gonna leave them up through winter and not just Christmas. So I'm doing it a winter theme. Anyway, nose, all that to say, I need a nose. Oh no, you don't buddy. That's not for you, that is for me. I grabbed, Two of these black t-shirts, they're 100% cotton and they're just black. Um, for a couple reasons, I'm not 100% sure which direction I'm going to go, but I needed, I figured some black would be important somewhere down the road for this. And maybe not, but I think I have it, it's all up here, don't you worry, uh, for one of the gnomes. For that... I stopped and got my mail, but nobody cares about that. 
I picked up five of these 15 foot garlands. What I'm trying to mimic is one of those natural green gnomes that I really, really want, but I think they're gonna be expensive. And I'm not saying I'm not get, gonna make one of those, but this is gonna be my DIY Dollar Tree version. So I grabbed five of these. Let me put them in this basket. So that is, they're 15 foot, so that's three, six, 75 feet. And I think I have one more upstairs, and if I run out, I can always go get some more. I grabbed this print. Isn't this fun? It just seems very Nordic to me and not, not necessarily Christmas. So I grabbed four of these. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. I'm thinking three to make the big hat, but maybe four. And I'm gonna hot glue them because I'm trying to make this Dollar Tree friendly, but you can sew. If you have a sewing machine, you could hand sew, but that might take a month of Sundays, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed four, which I think should be enough for the big gnome. I may have to dig out some of my stash. Um, I think I have red or I, oh, I need to find a Santa hat for my Grinch tree or not. I don't know. We'll figure that out. I'm not there yet, guys. I'm not there. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I bought so far. I need some mittens, of which I'm going to have to go to the Dollar Tree for a different Dollar Tree and a couple other randoms. You'll need scissors and a hot glue gun and all that. Now I picked up some cards. I grabbed, look at this size of chopped walnuts. This is two ounces and I'm thinking it's about a cup of walnuts to cook with. I don't need a whole bag and they're expensive, but I just need a little bit. So I grabbed them from the Dollar Tree. Perfect. And then I'm, oh, I grabbed some more cat treats for my brother and sister-in-law's cat. She's older. She likes the soft treats and I gave her other ones away. So I got those for her. And then, ooh, look what I found, guys. I found the cat chip clips. And these are so staying here with me. So we have a gray cat. I'm not sure what kind of cat's that color, but you know, whatever. And the orange cat. So I grabbed these for me and I got the dog ones for Sarah, my niece. And then the last thing I got, I want to do some, some winter DIYs opposed to Christmas because you know, after Christmas. So I'm going to do something snowflakey, but look at these. Aren't they so... Oh. Stop spinning. Aren't they pretty? They are glitter bombs. Not going to lie, but I was thinking some kind of snowflake garland. So I grabbed two of those or one pack of those. And look at this one. Isn't that pretty? It's like blue. Well, it's not like blue. It is blue. Yeah, they're pretty good representation. And there's some glitter up in here. It's going to be sparkly, but I grabbed one of that ornament. And then I grabbed two packs of these just snowflakes and they each come with 10. This one is more clear. And this one is more white. And I thought I could intermingle them. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but I wanted something in the variety of um, snowflakes to do a Christmas, not a Christmas DIY, to do a winter DIY. I could also attach them to my gnomes. Probably won't, but I could. Or maybe on the hat, that'd be pretty. Um, and then the only other thing we'll probably use is some white paint on the big gnome. I'm thinking there's Wellington. Hi, baby. You come say hi to the people. He's purring. He doesn't want me to manhandle him, but he is purring. Yeah, I will hold you. Um, so I'm excited to do that because I want them for my front porch. I just think they will be super fun for the winter time. Hi, what do you think? Yeah, okay. Where's Alex? I don't know where Alex went. He eats and then he goes and lays down somewhere. I don't know where he is at. So that was a quick Dollar Tree haul. I got a lot of multiples because we're gonna do a big project. So I'm excited about that. Probably gonna have to build it. Oh. There's Alex. He's sitting in front of the TV incognito because it's not on. So it's black and he's black. 
Here, Alex. You come see the people? Come on. No, he's not coming. <laughs> I digress. It's Thursday. It's been a long week. All right. So we... Hi. Oh, I will hold you. Um, he's fully clawed, if I haven't mentioned that. Oh, no. Nobody wants to see your bum bum. All righty, guys. He's going to... I don't really know what he wants. Ow, oh, he's scratching me. That's what I know. Get your butt out of there. Get, get your butt out of there. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. You have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Bye.